that's the mine we're going to. This is called the Jack Wait. Jack Wait? W A I T E. Okay. The guy who discovered it, that's his name. It's not called Lucky? No, not one of the thousands of mines called Lucky. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It's a little dreary up here. Yeah, real easy to see where we're going. Yeah, it's a little hard to see where we're going, but also the road is pretty darn bumpy up to this point. <clears throat> this is smooth now. Once we kind of, looks like we're just going from just gets dark along the edge instead of climbing. When we were climbing, it was pretty bumpy. Yeah, this is almost comfortable in comparison. So, hopefully and, we'll be there soon. And Ian almost crashed into another truck coming down. Yep. Well, it's a whole bunch of blind corners up here. You can't really tell where you're going. Well, it's around the corner. Only six and a half miles out now. All right, six and a half miles to go. And then we make the turn onto the road that takes us to the mine. Oh, is that another hundred miles? No, it's about another half a mile from there. Okay. Yeah. That one just goes downhill. This one stays at this, this elevation pretty much the whole way. Oh, okay. So. Maybe it'll stay somewhat smoother then. <clears throat> I hope so. That's why I was kind of surprised it was so bumpy up and down earlier. Alright, well, we'll see how today goes. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Should be good. Okay, here we are at the road that goes down to the lower level. Right, bud? Yep. All right, so we ran across this sign. And the road doesn't really look very well maintained. So we decided to park up here. Be good mining trespassers. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, head down, hoof it, rather than driving down there. Everything's pretty wet, so we're hoping we don't have to walk through too much brush and stuff, so we don't get our feet soaked. But we'll see. You gonna take your boots? Yeah. I can put them in my pack if you want. Oh my don't take much carrying. No, no. But if it's too wet, then we just won't enter stuff. We'll be fine. All right. Yeah. Should grab some water. All right. All right, then we're heading out. Oh, all right. Let's close the vehicles. Okay, this we're we're not a vehicle. Lane, by the way. So yeah. So after they did the reclamation work, then they just buried it off. Wow. Where was the town? Up over there. Right in between those two ridges. So far enough from the mill that they didn't get uh, poisoning and stuff. Wow. So that's the foundation for the mill. Yeah. That's the foundation for the newer version of the mill, which was built in the 40s. Ah. So we're going to go around that road and go up? We certainly can, but the mine itself is up that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Looks like those logs are scattered in a nice little pattern. Yep. That's what the EPA did. <laughs> yeah. They laid down a whole bunch of dead stuff. That is fertilizer. Something. Yeah. So anyway, we're glad we didn't drive the truck back because we'd have to back it all the way up. Yeah, that would not have been fun. Going up there. All right, well, let's head over to... Go over the mill. I want to check that out. Check out the mill and... <clears throat> so we can find the mine. Alright, here's a little closer view of the bottom of the mill, a foundation. Gonna walk down here and Head up that road, I think. What you think, bud? Pretty cool. 
You gonna climb up it? No, it's crumbling pretty well. <laughs> Looks like it. Find some gold? Found a drill bit. Oh. I think it's, yeah, they, they incorporated it into the, into the base of the mouth. It's not rebar? No. I think they, they might have used drill bits as rebar. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so we decided to go up. We'll road towards the mine instead of going up to the foundation. We think this goes towards the mine. But that road going to the foundation was all grass and everything's soaking wet. So we're trying to stay a little dry for a little while longer. <clears throat> What's that, bud? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seems like something's up there. We'll see. Sure, why not? Cool. A few years ago, probably. Yeah. This is a foundation for an old rail, he said? Yep. So it should be, it's about the right level. Well, to get stuff to the, the mill. And it's slowly pointing up in the direction of the mill. Or in mine, right? <clears throat> Got a nice nut and bolt. So the mill's right back there. The road down here we came up. This is just a huge tailings pile. Looks like. Yep. You said somebody's camped up here. Two times up there. Is it? Yeah. All right, let's see. Is it blocked? Uh, no, but it might be caved in. I don't want to take that, by the way. Okay. So we're going to do an initial assessment here. Yeah, it looks like it might have collapsed. Six, not six million mosquitoes. Yeah, it's collapsed. It smells like skunk. Ah, crap. Yeah. This is the main entrance to the mine right here. 1500 level. Looks like this was a gate to hold it. To hold it would come it. down yeah. and shut it. Yeah. It's on a hinge. like electrical here. Yeah. That's maybe water. Air. Probably is, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, Coming no. from the top. Wow. Yeah. <coughs> this is the this is definitely the entrance. Let's get in there a little deeper. Huh? See if we can find that skunk. Flash it in there, bud. I know I'm kind of trying to find a spot that wouldn't fall away. Uh -huh. Oh, it looks so cool, the timber's there though. Oh, there's something climbing. Yeah. The mouse. Where? Right in the top right. Oh, anyway, scurried up there. Yeah. Huh. Well. This is the entrance though. Start digging. So the mice can get in there, but I don't think we can. Look at that guy. Yeah, it could. He's all the way in the top right. He's looking at us. He is, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
Alright, well I guess we get to look for another entrance. Yep, there's several more, so. Look at that mechanism. Yeah. Looks like it would be shot from the inside. Almost. Oh well. Yeah. It happens. It's been 40 years since it was mine. 40 years. Yeah, look at this thing. Yeah. And that might actually be 50 gallons a minute from out. Alright, so now we're out of that road to the mine and went up to the <clears throat> foundations here. Pretty cool. Seems pretty stable, bud. So this was the one from the 40s, you said, though. Yep, this is the right. From the 40s. There's some gold right there. What's that? There's some gold right there. Probably. Big old thing of it. Just left behind some steel it's probably mostly pipe over here. Iron pyrite. A lot of nails here. Yeah. Most of what they came here for was iron pyrite and all the stuff attached to it, so. Built the 40s and then burned down. Burned down the Some 60s. Fire. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's been sitting here a while. Yeah. Sure, yeah. It's another 20 years of all the on trees. You can see the road, the, the rails used to come along. Right up the top there. Right at the top. Dump it in here, do a little magic. Yeah. Comes out here. So. It's hauled somewhere. That's where the crushers were. This is where the acid separation was. Oh. So we the gold and the silver and everything from the uh, from the quartz and the pyrite in acid. Probably in containers on either side of this here. Then it went down even further to be separated even further. Hmm. Using the elevation change as a way to move it, probably. Cool? Yeah. And the old right. previous the wooden mill was just about 100 feet that way. It was like a quarter of the size of this one. So we're gonna head up the road, see yep. if we can find the town. We'll head up the road a little bit, yeah. I don't know how far the road goes. We'll find out. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Nice take home. Cool. Nut. Nice nut. And now. All right. So this is fun going down. It's causing like an avalanche. All right, Ian. Your turn. <laughs> stretching the muscles between my legs. <laughs> trying to follow you, but... Huh. I just loosened it all up for you. Yeah. When I take a step, all of this just continues moving. I know. Right, so throw the back. I'm not on the camera. I'm not smiling. <laughs> I'm laughing a little. This is hurting. This is the quickest way down. The driest. I know. Crush my pinky toe. Oh, just the pinky toe. Yeah, just the pinky toe. Okay. Oh, you made it, man. Holy cow, look at the Good job. Hey, these rocks are cool. That was fun. All right, so we hiked up this road a little bit. Came out of the, from the mill. What's up, bud? Drop my nut down this, this is a hole again. Oh, don't drop your nut. This might be a, 
Oh. No drop your nut down it. Why not? I'm not I don't know if I want to take this home. Okay, so what is this? Don't put that down there. I don't know. Probably a water well or... Yeah, whatever it is. Somebody... Another one right there. There's a house here. At least one. Yep. That looks right. like it's from the 40s or 60s. Yeah. With that appliance there, the stove. Ooh. The chimney fell you got over. A chimney. Yeah, it looks like the chimney fell over. <laughs> Somebody was sitting in the chimney when it fell? Might have. <laughs> Probably you don't see a body. Alright. Yeah? It's another test hole or something. <clears throat> you think it was an electric stove? Looks like a septic right there. Oh yeah? I think that's what this all has collapsed into. There's a definite look down below ground level. Not sure what their roofing material is there. <coughs> There's the big fireplace. You need that if you're going near round. I think this was the deck over here. A deck? Yeah. What's this? It's kind of a cool spot. You got the creek on either side of you. Yeah. It's got going towards this creek too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it had a deck and everything here. <clears throat> yeah. Your round source of water. Might be something across the way. I think I see more boards, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. Might have been uh, some food storage or something under there. Yeah, could be, but at least it was a basement. A little bit of one. Root cellar. Yeah. Or something. The staircase was. Looks like. Let's go down into it. Mm. Might not have been very deep. Well, wow, pretty cool. Yeah, this is a pretty big house for the 60s and in the woods. Hmm. Yeah. So you saw you saw something across the way here? I think I'm going to That's pretty steep over there, bud. It's pretty steep over there. So I doubt it. Well, it was kind of a road down to the water, though. Or at least the edge here. We did not even know this was here. We did not even know this was here. 
He just said it. And there's a shovel. Nice old shovel. Probably 60s or so. It's got fire glass wrapped there's around some it. rail lines down there. Ow. Look at that. We, we walked put, right by this the first time. We shouldn't put my jack on the ground like this. I think it'd be all right. There was a little sign we'll have to get a picture of. It says mine with an arrow. <laughs> This is in the opposite one. direction of where all the other stuff is. I know. There's no records of this one. It's an unrecorded mine. Yeah. All right. Well, we can certainly get in it. Yeah, it might be a little difficult. There's a good bit of stuff to try. Either. All right, so, so we got to get ready. Yeah, well, I got to do some stuff. All right, we're going to go in in a minute. Okay. All right, so we're going to head down into this. We're talking about how there's not a lot of, there's the tailings for sure, but not 500 tons a day. No. But it's right. got some pretty big timbers, like it was more than just a test one. Yeah, it does. Can you see what it looks like? The water looks <laughs> six inches plus deep, probably. So. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that looks, yeah, that looks like it might be kind of getting us wet. I'll go down first if you want. No, I'm good. Watch out for this nail right here. If you want to, you can turn around and hold my... I can give you some support. And you can just go in backwards. I'm good. I'm good. There's a rock right here. All right. Watch the roots. Yeah, there's no air movement whatsoever from this one. So be careful. Lots of skeeters. It goes back a short distance. Yeah? I can't see any further. All right, well, we'll check it out. However far it is. Yeah. Ooh, this wood is rotten. I bet. Yeah, this looks like it might be deeper than the other mine. Uh, I light on. So it might be deeper. Cool. We can go along the sides there. We're going to yeah. have to hoof it out in some wet feet. It looks like there's either a timber there or the end of it. Mm -hmm. Find out, right? Yeah. I just don't think it's very wet. <laughs> Should have let me bring your boots. I know. That's shit. Oh, my flat is getting really hot. I'm trying to get it on the high setting. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a water line right there. Or your line, yeah. It's not going above my boot. Yeah. I'm taking it slow. You can walk one foot on the airline and another on the side. I don't feel about the tip of my boot. You can just walk on the airline and hold on to the side. Yeah, it was going above the tip of my boot. Yours are a little taller. We got some logs here. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think of the lift up ahead. Oh my god. What? Huge daddy on the bike. Like four or five inches. A super daddy? Yeah. Like absolutely enormous. And it's pretty good. You getting wet? I don't know what boat is. super tight. Oh, there's a spring here. There is? Yeah, right up here. No, nah, it's coming from underneath. It's coming from below. Can you see it? Yeah, it's like right here. It's just bubbling up. Oh. It's not bubbling, but flowing. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out of the line. Huh. Well, it's coming right out of that water line you're walking on. So it might... Might be me forcing it down. Well, I think it's flowing and that goes out of the mine somewhere and it's supposed to be taking the water out. Yeah. That's my guess. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be doing its job. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if this is a dam. Oh yeah, it's a dam. <laughs> Good video. Should have brought your boots. Yeah, my feet are getting soaked. Yeah, there's a lot of water. So the pipe ends or starts right here on this side. It's supposed to be taking the water out. Yeah, there's a leak at the bottom of the dam. Okay. Yeah. This water is not great. Well, there's like a foot on the other side of this. Or two feet. I have to hit my head every single mine we go to. Yes, you do. All right, so let's see some light in there. Okay, so you see the pipes there. Yeah. And it's deeper. And there's a the rail. Noise. Hmm? Who's on the way is near the drill there? Both sides. We might need to get out though. I'm starting to get a little headache. Yeah? There is no safe area on this line. And this is starting to get really hot. Definitely no movement. Nope. So we'd probably get out of here. Oh, it's probably time. all right. I think. It's up to you. We could climb over. Uh, I don't want to. Not when it's that deep. And, and not when there's no air moving whatsoever. I need an air tank if I was going to do this one. Hmm. Honestly. Yeah. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. You see any good stuff on the way in? There's some smaller like quartz veins and stuff here. That's probably what they were following. Nothing in the suit leak, but it's like really small quartz veins. Other than that, it's hmm. pretty small. This is the first time we've seen a dam. Alright, so we decided to head out of this mine. I feel a little lightheaded too, I think. Yeah, it's not good. Kind of glad we didn't bring anything we go through the rest of the that was cool. That would probably trigger a whole lot of words. Who knows? Anyway, that looks like that water line goes underneath here and it's supposed to be coming out oh, somewhere. Okay. Careful your way out. Don't lock me in. Cool. Lots of skeeters. Alright, I think we're done. Alright, so we. Just drove up the road uh, probably two or three miles from the last spot where we were. And there were just about at the uh, just about at the Montana Idaho border. We're right on the border here. Right on the border. And there's a pile of rock. <laughs> yeah. On the end's map is a has an entrance to a mine. Let's go check it out before we cross the road. Yeah, let's I'm trying to hit up this way. It's a little less steep, maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna <clears throat> just see if it's an open. Nope. Was it a shaft? It's not one, but a shaft. Probably spread out that way. And the other one's just right over the. Right over the edge here. The road's gonna. Too bad it's not a clear day. Yeah. Pretty cool though. For miles if it was. There's the road we drove. What? I think. All the way over there? Yeah. We've driven 25 miles out this thing. Pretty cool. Yeah. So that's pretty weird. It was just a, shaft here. a lot of dirt. Because <laughs> it looks like they all have home. So this was just a test hole, probably? I think so, yeah. It looked more substantial in Google Earth. Yeah. So there's nothing up. Nothing up around it. Nope. And because there's piles of rock and stuff. There's some nice mineralized rock here, but nothing substantial. This was all disturbed. Yeah, it is. The young tree, mostly. Yep. Yeah. That's for sure. This was a road. I think this bit was. It's too flat not to be. 
container. This is our road right here. <laughs> I don't think this is our road, but this is a road. I think this is it. Maybe get your, you got your phone with you, right? Yeah, the road's over there. To see where that other one was? It might be right there. I think we're, because I think there, our road comes right up here. Uh, no. Our road continues on down that way. Uh oh. So where's that other? The other one's down the roadways. Okay. I thought yeah. we were close. Oh, that, this is another road. Yeah. Hmm. So we yeah. walked right through that mine. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else here. We're at the top of the pass, though. So we should, get, should be good views off that way. Some nice fog moving in. Are we on one side, Montana, one side? Not quite. Not quite yet. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see if we find... Yeah, the border's like another 20 feet that way. Oh, dang it. Yeah. All right, so let's... Uh... Check it out. Yeah. Back down. All right, just uh, what's this is like half a mile from the other one? Yeah. Is this one a cool shaft? Oh, chipmunks ran away there. Hey, Mr. Chipmunk. Yeah, this shaft should be about 600 feet deep, almost straight down. So. There's a platform down there a little bit, <coughs> and that's what's holding everything up, but... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to try it. So it's not... It, it's a, just a shaft. It's yeah. not an entrance. Nope, this is just a shaft straight down. Uh, this goes straight down into the mine, though. But, and it's all connected to the, the other one we were at earlier? Yeah. That's, like, a long ways away. In the 40s, there was a... survey done in, I think, 48. There were 24,000 feet of tunnels. So... We just gotta find an entrance, so. Yep. I mean, you knew this wasn't an entrance. No. Chipmunk. <laughs> they can go down there. You yeah. can kind of smell it. Yeah. You can smell the mice and the rats and stuff. Doing whatever they do. But this one. Wow. I just wanted to see this because this is, this is visible even from Google Earth. Another mile or so down the road on the Montana side is the last entrance to this mine. And it's an adit? Should be. Should be a full-fledged entrance. And hopefully it's the only one that's still open. So you just need some rope and some climbing gear and you're good to go, man. I mean, yeah. There's a sign right up above us, by the way. I think it says, please trespass. What's to say besides no trespassing? Big Beaver Creek Branch Land and Mine. I'll maybe get closer to, to read it. As close as I'm willing to get that. Oh, it gives an address that's uh, in the name of the owners. Uh huh. Call, yeah. Huh? Let's try throwing a rock down here. Did you hear that? No. That'd be very good. Just seems like it ends right there. Yeah. All right. So you got a sharp rock. We did something. So we got a flat. Um, I'm gonna... not entirely surprised. This one is a little worn on the sides. So we're gonna have to go check out. We're going to check out the mine and come back and I hope we can get the tire changed. Because... It's going to be adventure if we can. Do you remember where the jack and everything is? It's right underneath the seat on the side. Right, yeah. and we... I think we almost figured it out last time. Yeah. We were we just doing eat. it wrong. Yeah. Oh, All I right. know, I know. It's... All right, so that ain't going anywhere. All right, so we'll change that when we get back. Nice and shitty. <laughs> Might have to get new tires. Yeah. We'll see. I looked though, the walls of that tire <coughs> are very dry, so something probably hit wrong and 
Yep. All right, well, let's see, what, let's see if we can find the mine. Yep. Mine should be just right here, right here. Right here. Oh, it's on this side? Yeah. That looks like a way down. further down the road. Alright, and that's a way down right there. Yeah. It's a good fire there, isn't it? <laughs> it should. Yeah, I was hoping the road wasn't that rough, but it is. If it doesn't, we're in a... We're a little bit of speed. We're going to have to find the tire shop and get some tires. Get the open on Sunday. <laughs> we can't just go find a tire shop up here. No, I mean, like, we can use the there, get to like Wallace or something, there'll probably be a tire shop there. Well, or if, if we just need air, it's one thing. So is there a road to this? Yeah. It looks like the tailing spiles off to the right. Yeah, it does. That looks like it right there. The entrance should be on that side, mountain. So, just thought I heard uh, somebody coming or something. All right, we're gonna see if we can climb down here. It looks much easier than the other stuff. All right, so was oh, look at that. Yes, there's people been climbing to climb down here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, he says. All right. Yep. You push it. I'm going. Would the entrance be down there? This side. Got a lot of timbers right here. But there wouldn't be bolt. There's a lot of timber support from the Yeah, look at this. Well, they used to come down here and dump it, probably, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's obviously where the rails came out. Yeah. Definitely where the... I'm not kidding. <coughs> right That's there. It. Looks like it might even be open. It does look like it's open. It's not really... It's not accessible. All right. This should be the thousand level. Go ahead and get in there. And get the flashlight. It might. It's hard to see. I can smell more mice. It's just that cave smell. And like nests. I mean, they nest and figure out it's not a great place to be. There's no water at all. Go ahead and climb in. I mean, see if it's... I know. See if there's a... I can't see or anything. I don't have a light. It's collapsed. Looks like it might be. Go ahead and sneak in there just a little bit. See if we need to light up. And oh, yeah, it's collapsed. Collapsed, collapsed? Yeah. Collapsed, 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 collapsed? Yeah. And it is. Yeah. 
It's not great, but it's a cool entrance. Yeah, it is. What's the sign say underneath it? By... Big Beaver Creek Ranch and Mine. Ah. <clears throat> it says the name's the owner, I think. It's a nice nest right there. There it goes up, boys. That's a new nest. Yeah. It's green. Can I see your light? Just oh, that's here. That's a nest of something. A couple of them. Yep. Like two or three different things that aren't there. Cause those leaves are pretty fresh. Yeah. That's, that's probably causing smell though. <clears throat> well, huh. Wow, I found the mine. Yep. It's cool. Let me get a picture of you, bud. Alright. <laughs> 